Once you complete the registration process, you have an option to deploy Annex Log Platform Server on-prem. With the local server, you will be able to manage a fleet of log collection agents, rollout configurations, store log data in a centralized fashion, and apply data analysis to the logs collected. In this video, I will guide you through the installation process of a server on-prem. Once the installation finished, your local Annex Log Platform server will be available at the domain name you have specified during the registration. In our case, it's annexlog.example.local. First of all, it needs to download installation file. And at the download section, you can access your personal API key required for the local deployment, as well as the latest installation script. But first of all, let's check the online documentation for the system requirements. Annex Log Platform on-prem deployment supports major Linux distributions, like from Red Hat and Ubuntu at the moment. And for proper sizing of your deployment, please notice four different configurations of a server that depend on the amount of agents you plan to manage centrally. So let's go back and download installation script. Now you have to copy the installation script to your Linux machine and start the installation there. So let's switch to a console window to move on and get connected to the host we want Annex Log Platform to deploy at. In this example I use Ubuntu 22, but you may use any supported system according to the documentation as the steps may slightly differ. I have already copied the installation script to the system here, so let's uh, first get this unpacked and run it with elevated privileges. This will prepare deployment environment for us. Now there are three simple steps to finish with the deployment and we have to apply a couple of changes to configuration file first. So, first let's add the API key we had, and then specify the local domain we provided during the registration and expect the on-prem deployment of the platform will run at. In our case, it's annexlog.example.local. Also, it makes sense to change the sizing of a platform if you plan to manage a huge number of agents. By default, the installation is configured to be of a small size, but you may change it accordingly. We keep the default size in this video, so save and exit. Now we have to start the desert that will check all the dependencies required to continue with the installation and make sure that all the packages configured properly on the system. Finally, we are ready to start the deployment. This process may take a while uh, to set up everything for you. As the installation finished, it needs to update your DNS records for the platform services. Or you may put these records into a host file of the computer you want to access Annex Log Platform from. Please consider this for the test purposes only for and make sure to put correct IP address of the Linux host into these records instead of the loopback one in this example. Since we have finished here, we can switch back to the browser to log into Annex Log Platform newly deployed. To access installed platform, let's follow the link provided on the portal account page or type it manually in the browser search bar. Now we have to log into the local server with the default administrator account. To do that, let's go back to the documentation page and look up for known credentials. Please make sure to change default password to a strong one as soon as you've finished with the setup.
on-prem deployment is up and running and you have access to agent management, log search console, dashboards and other parts of the system now. You can move on uh, with agents rollout now, connecting them to the platform manually or leverage NXLog solution packs to ease log collection configuration. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next videos.